Well, our greetings. This Universe Studios is not the happiest place in the world. It's a uh, Halloween Horror Nights is all set up here. It is uh, what is it, September 30th, 29th. All right, here to do a couple of connections. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Halloween, but uh, hey, if you need to get out of your system, go for it. Explore that darkness. All right, we're here to uh, connect to maybe three beings. I did that last time. I don't see them, why not? Got a little bit of a light start, kind of. So, uh, here to enjoy the festivities. Of course, Universal has always been like the horror movie studio, so it kind of makes sense why this is their war astral obligations. But we need all, uh, all, all aspects of experience. One thing about the negative energies, it can do a couple of things. It can move us in the right direction or it can slow us down, <laughs> as some of you know. Or put you in a, yeah, you know, especially with, uh, you know, suicide tendencies and stuff like that. As become is glorified by Hollywood, hopefully that will change over time. I believe a lot of souls are going to evolve from that uh, when they're ready. So a lot of this is going to be more understood of basically lower astral how it's controlling us. And it has its purpose, of course, because it does, it does speed things up. Might not be the best speed up, but it does make things faster. When you're getting everything you want, you don't really evolve, so then the negative comes in to push you along. On video that was the, yeah Jake and Jake and Herman is somewhere like Galactic Blue Blood Brothers you can say I mean like in the second issue Jake is thrown in jail Jake's more like uh, the rabbit is more like uh, um, just lost my train of thought uh, I can't remember what I was thinking about either way. Maybe that'll come up, but... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Jake is connected to more of uh, Robert uh, Palmer, the uh, musician, than the Blues Brothers music, but... So, Robert Palmer has the, the models behind him. So, that's more of Jake's thing, so... I'm still expanding on that world. Uh, the game show hosts and origins. Uh, one more. Oh yeah, that's another thing about rabbits, like uh, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is pretty much psychotic, or something like that. Yeah, bunnies are crazy. On other worlds, they're nuts. So um, it's pretty funny. Yeah, as we open up our realities, it's gonna become more normal. So just putting it out there. If you don't want to believe in it that's fine but you know humanity has a while while to change that was another thing I got a message from prime creator prime creator energy will be coming through you said we had our one-on-one -on -one talk but it's talked about uh this is like at three o'clock in the morning about you know like 9-11 Sandy Hook for example you know you notice how we need death to change that's going to change eventually but all through war we've had the hundred years war and all this you know uh, the black you know the black death stuff like that death has always been a part of our reality now look at like 9-11 did those people officially die a lot of them changed uh, dimensions 
meaning they're connected to another reality where the World Trade Center is still there. It just for us, we needed it to go down for us to awaken. So they are in spirit. Everybody's in spirit. But remember, there's also other versions of them are in a whole nother environment. World Trade Center is still there. Society is changing differently. You know, things are different. Just another way of looking at things differently. Sandy Hook also. Some people say those kids died. Some people say they didn't die. Because some of them are alive in other realities. You know where I'm getting at? It's like, that's when you see the paradox or the other dimensions. Because we're always going through different dimensions. But yeah, those events show that you're really seeing the different versions of Earth really show themselves during those events. Because it's a major turning point for us. But it's also showing us other versions of Earth. So, are people, yeah, it's weird, but not really when you think about it. It's just in your, it's not on your mainstream news as the normal because people don't understand it. But then again, look at those events. Everyone has their own version of it, pretty much. It's not meaning those versions are wrong. It's just there, there's all types of possibilities. And for some people, this is the truth. That's the truth. Whatever the hell it is, it doesn't matter. So, it gives you a more of an uh, understanding of that. If that digests, alright, that's a different, you know. Believe what you want to believe, basically. Alright, we're going to go into channeling. Alright, take care. Great to see you on Prime Greater, much love. Energy to see you as you transform your vibration to a higher energy being. Realize your powers here on this planet. You have the ability, yes, to change the weather. Weather, also yes, to move mountains, move energies. I just think of it as a program on a computer. You have to connect to the vibration of what you're trying to move, basically. Because you do have the capability, and you do bring storms to yourselves. You do bring weather anomalies for soul growth. You have a purpose for it. Everyone has, everyone's there for a reason. It's not just out of nowhere. It's part of the human condition that needs to be, be explored at this time. This will shift when you're ready, but many are still part of the human experience. Many of you are upgrading the human experience, giving a more bird's eye view of what's going on. As for negativity, many are still discovering that great deal of themselves within. And yes, as for allowing more of the alien energies to come through, yes, you are part of the alien collective. Basically more humans are gonna to connect to more zero alien size and call it themselves aliens, which will help with the efforts of transforming the universe, basically. If you connect more to your alien vibration, you are a human, earth human alien. We also connect these Arturian, Pleiadians, and other beings allowing that more to come into your energy field. Basically, humans are gonna start recognizing that you're the aliens, and much more than that. Yes, the energy is basically to change 
your environment aren't quite there yet. As for levitation, flight, time traveling, it's in the work. Some of you are more tuned than others. So connect to those desires and continue to do so. But those that want to do telekinesis abilities, connect to the chakras, the energy of the item that you want to move. Connect to those vibrations and you will feel it speak to you. You have to have a conversation with it too. It would help also. Realize many of those that can do this have already been doing this for years. And as for you to basically get used to that vibration of getting used to the new you also, because you have to change as a, you have to go more fourth dimension. It does help. Basically clearing out the third dimensional thought patterns. It does take time for that, for the soul to get used to that frame of mind, as you can see. You are basically changing your environment right now. Everyone that's going through an awakening experience is changing your earth's vibration. Every thought, every feeling is going. This is why some of you are feeling a timeline change as more of the alien energies are getting close because you're allowing it to come closer to you. It has a lot to do with it. You're allowing your space to be cleared for them to get closer. The majority of humanity still wants to see it, but they don't even see themselves. They think they do. They think they know who they are. They don't. And many of you know that. Many have no idea who they are on this planet. This, yes, they called Richard, Bob, Susie, whatever name. That's an Earth human name. Most of you don't even have names, which makes this life even more complicated. And oh, some of you do have no body. Of course, in spirit, no one has a body, just spirit energy. But a lot of you have come from physical realities fourth dimension physical rallies, fifth dimension physical, they have their own version of it. Yours is more dense as you can see. As you travel through higher vibrational understanding, you will understand this more clearly. Basically, you're letting go of the third dimension. More and more, you have the, the code, you're changing it. Many are having difficulties accepting it. It feels it's all science fiction, not science fiction. See, some don't want to accept the reality you're pulling in. So this is not this doesn't work for them. What works for you is different than what works for everybody else. And that's what people have a problem with. This is not true, that's not real. You guys connect to your own truth. And you see what happens, people connect to their own truth and they shut down everyone else. But that's not how it works. Because that's more of a self versus self energy. Many aren't understanding that, but, oh, I don't believe that, that's not my energy, so I'm gonna shut it down. See, that's where the confusion gets. I'm gonna run away from that. Well, you might not be interested in that type of message or energy, and some of it does come from a low energy. It does not make it wrong, at least for those that are connecting to it. Many have difficulties accepting that. There's far more realities here than anyone has ever realized. Put a number on how many realities is really false because there's multiple realities constantly flowing. Even your fingernails have different realities they connect to. So to have an actual number is not really for you. That might be right, but it actually goes much further than that. Your animals have different dimensional energies they connect to. You do, your skin does. Everything has its own vibrational intake. That's for you to connect with. Blessings. I am Gretchen with the Positive Illuminati. Greetings, tall, blonde, Nordic being, Palladian. 
as we assist you going into your new direction. Many are having difficulties in this new direction. As some of you have to be pushed into that vibration of a new way of thinking. And that has not fully been brought into your environment worldwide. As we're looking at the world differently. It is slowly finding its way into your earth system. Basically letting go of the 3D thought patterns. Of this is how it is. Yes, many are finding this information as they need to. But also many are rejecting it too. Because they're not really ready to let go of the three-dimensional experience. As you connect more to the four-dimensional energies, you will see a shift. There are many here that can connect to the fourth dimension but aren't really utilizing their powers and sharing their gifts with others. They feel like they're here for energy and that is all. Some can go more public but they choose not to. So they actually put a block in their assistance of humanity. They do it in the astral. But in their physical realm, they will eventually have to live more because they want to live for more for themselves and not for others. There are certain individuals that are actually brought here to go more into the public stage than choose not to. Not to say all of you are here to do that. You know that. You know who you are. You don't need to. But there are certain ones that are putting the brake on it. And yes, it does cause some difficulties as they do reject the idea of sharing their energies with others. Because some, everyone sings to a different audience, you can say. But it all comes, it all goes into the same river in the long run. Some are a little bit harder than others. But in your, what's going on, yes, with your government system it is slowly breaking down right in front of your eyes. Some are having difficulties accepting it, so they're putting scandal everywhere. They're trying to block your ascension process. Many are here, yes, not once perfect, but many are here to really change your governmental system altogether. And you see a new government's already been put together. That has not been done publicly yet. But you do feel the vibrations are now, yes, for child trafficking and that that is, that is a difficult one to heal because there's a lot of backlash behind that. You have to go easy and slow with that. Someone, a speedy recovery. It is and works. It's just many are having difficulties reaching into that vibration. So as you go into a new focus in life, a new trans soul transformation, you will see more great change among you. This is a distraction. One moment. So basically, yes, a government system is being slowly evolving into your system. More freedom, but many are having difficulties with that, so you're going to get backlash. Some have incarnated here, not to name names, that are a politician status, are here to truly revolutionize your way of life. And that is where you, the backlash is all around that, because many are trying to stop it. So to give you more of an understanding of that, just look at where the backlash is. Some of you have difficulties accepting that because there's such a divide and you're not ready to let go of the divide. Some are still not sure of all of this. We understand. We are opening up passageways so you can... It's all in soul adaption, basically. How many here are you ready for a fourth dimensional experience? Not many, because you've been delivered a third dimensional experience going into fourth dimension does not make any sense. So I'll leave you now. Hopefully this encourages you to explore your vibrations.
Greetings, this is Ovac. It's been a while since I've been here, hasn't it? Greetings to your society, this is, uh, this place is kind of fucked up. It's basically, humanity has not really found itself. It has. There's so much more to explore, such as reptilian experiences of going off world. You can go off world, but not yet. You have to get over all of this first. You have to let go of the 3D environment, basically the control mechanisms within the mind. For you to truly awaken, men are having difficulties letting go of this reality. Yeah, but definitely a the honor is all mine. A version of all of this is quite amusing. Your version of the universe and how it operates is a lot of it is downloads, a lot of it is real, but not all of it. Not everything. In your environment basically you are shifting to a, a 5D reality. Which is gonna also let go of the 3D energies, but not entirely yet. Basically you're you're shifting, but not shifting as quickly as some would like. Welcome. You are going to a new era where you can be on alien ships and connect to each other's minds more clearly. Basically, many want to do it on a physical front, but you can do it more of an energy vibration. Because if you use your abilities properly, it will activate even more. Those that won't and use it, abuse it, will have trouble opening themselves up. Of course, they'll get angry and pissed off and more service to self energies well some can use service to self energies but not always you gotta know what you're doing some are still getting to know themselves here in this world being human some have come here as basically you say your mothers and fathers that just said you need to come to earth basically so not because we can't teach you anything anymore so you're kind of go away at school basically and of course at school, some are having a hell of a time getting used to it. Some do have families that do send you here. Of course you accept it, not willing to accept it. I'm not gonna like it, many don't. They have a party and everything, everything's wonderful. And you go through the earth, basically incarnating into this world. And you know how that goes. One moment. So basically just trust yourselves. Trust your instincts. Let go of any type of ag aggravation you have for each other, because you're not going to get anywhere with it. If you hate each other more than anything, you will still go nowhere. And the more hate you have, is the more you're, s more or less you'll evolve you'll ever. If that person did this, that person did that. If you're holding those grudges, you won't, you won't, you got to heal that. Then you'll start to feel, you got to let it go. You got to let everything go. Man, you're having difficulties hearing those thought patterns, of course. It's like, no, more rage, more hate, more pot smoking, more crack. As you become more peace to yourself, connect more to your energies, you won't need drugs so much anymore. Of course, some do have difficulties digesting that one. You're basically letting go of the 3D. And yeah, some find it impossible of trusting their guides, trusting themselves that they can do it. Because you're basically going into a a car wash. A car wash of vibrational car wash. Where many are going to reject these vibrations of alien connections because those that are rejecting are just not ready to experience it. That's where it comes down to. They're just not ready to see your earth evolve. They have much more to explore in third dimension. You know, taking a shower, having 30 girlfriends, whatever it might be, or boyfriends, or whatever the hell it is. Men are not ready, but realize you are healing, yes, this environment. You're making it a better experience if you want it to. Many of you don't want it to, as you can tell. I say, they just kick it out altogether. But realize many of you that are already allowing this to come through, they're going to run to it eventually. People can run all they want. They're going to connect to the higher dimensional energies. There's nowhere to run. All right, take care. May the green, green be with you. We understand our monetary system, galleons, sickles, 
and nuts can be overwhelming for some novels. Thus, we have authorized Grindelwald patterns, especially for novels.